Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Half fast, 719. Not fast because I don't ride the bikes. Anyway, um, yeah, my brother-in-law came over last night, dropped off a present for me, um, another gift. Um, in turn, I got to return a favor of another gift. I don't know how that works, but anyway, uh, that that might be discussed later. I don't want to do it because I feel bad. Um, but he wants to, but I don't want to, because I'm not that type of person. Even this, I didn't, I didn't really want, but I told him I wanted to get one, and it just happens that his father had one. My father-in-law had one, but I didn't really want one. And then he came last night with a pink slip and a title and said, here, here's your new project. And I'm like, gee, thanks. Like, thanks. Like, it's awesome. But thanks. I need more work to do. Anyway, here it is. Enough talking. Sorry for the wind in advance. There's going to be a lot of wind noise. So bear with it. And uh, when it's not windy, I'll do more video. All right, here we go. <clears throat> You ready? Oh, let me let me show you the keys first. See if any of you guys know what it is. If you know what it is, pause the video, comment below. What is it? Besides my brother-in-law, you're not allowed to comment. You can, but don't comment the guess. All right, here we go. Oh, it looks pretty boxy. Is it a Datsun? I don't know. Oh, the wheels are giving it away. It's pieced out. What? <laughs> Sorry, now the noise. Neighbors are going to make a bunch of noise. It is a 1980 Mercedes 240D diesel lowest thing I've ever been in these <laughs> lowest thing I've ever been in it's pretty clean though I don't know if it's missing side skirts or see there goes the wind I'm trying to block I'm trying to block So I don't know if it's missing like side fairings or what. Solid. Solid, solid. So one of my buddies in high school, you'll probably be watching. Ugh, Newman. His his umpa, his grandpa had one of these. And I thought it was the coolest thing back then because he'd sit there and try to do a burnout. <laughs> floor panels, or just just the floor. <laughs> oh. It is automatic, which slips like crazy though. Suspension seats, like eight inches of travel. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I'm just trying to. We went, the kid and me went for a drive last night, and wow, this thing is gutless. So, and it's got weird, all kinds of weird things with the brakes, or the lights. Oh, jeez. Like, nothing works in it. The horn works. The headlights work. The windshield wipers don't work. Um... Oh, that's what that was. I couldn't see it last night. So that's the uh, cruise control. Nice. I think it's got a, a vacuum leak. That's what that's for. Rear defrost. I guess. Uh, some type of light. Which I don't know. 
it's supposed to be a light up here. Um, anyway, uh, that works. We got exterior molding clip. Bunch of empty bags. Oh, there's one, one little clip. Um, oh, this is for the mirrors. I don't know. They look like they would go there. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, we got this thingy. Cool. Cool. This little thingy goes up there. It's broken though. It's got a light. Some speakers. This. <laughs> Let's show you something funny. This stereo, I don't, I think it's empty. I don't think there's anything in this radio. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the whole radio's smashed in. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. Boop. Boop. Anyway, uh, I don't know. The air, air conditioner thing doesn't work. Like, you can turn this dial. This only turns to two. Sorry, still zoomed in. This one turns this one up or down. I don't know what that means. Windshield and floor. So if you put it in the middle, maybe that's the vents. Um, it says AC. I don't know. I don't understand it. Oh man, making more of a mess than needed. Anyway, let's look at the. Oh jeez, let's look at the engine. The window doesn't work. It like is stripped out. So I'll have to fix that. Again, sorry for the wind. Let's see this thing. Oh. Hold on. I need two hands. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Alright, so... It's a little baby four-cylinder. Um... Yeah, what I'm going to do... Is... Today, when I go get parts for the truck... Um, I'm gonna go get a filter. This is supposed to be clear. Or videos I've been reading. So this filter is supposed to be clear. So I'm going to get a filter here and a new filter here if they have one. Um, and then, if I'm not mistaken, I've been watching some guy's video. So this is not supposed to be like that. But this hose, I want to say it's supposed to go here, but apparently I'm wrong. There's supposed to be some type of vacuum actuator here, so that when you push the throttle, it pulls vacuum. But that's missing. It's got a vacuum leak somewhere, which I'm assuming is somewhere. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get an air filter if this air filter is bad but that's not supposed to be like that that's probably the vacuum leak because apparently this here seals and oh man, stupid thing. so that's sorry for the wind so this is supposed to come I don't know I'll have to look it up again there's supposed to be something from here to somewhere and that's supposed to seal. Oh, that is a new air filter. Okay. So we got a new air filter. Because I was thinking last night, I was like, man, this thing is gutless. I bet the air filter is completely plugged. But it's not the air filter. It's whatever's supposed to go in here to somewhere. It's creating a huge vacuum leak. 
and also, hmm, I don't think this is the right air filter. I don't know. Seems a little grande, but I'm assuming it's supposed to go on like that. It's not really showing only one way. Anyway, let's see if I can't start this beast. Try to see if it fits better somewhere. Hmm. Maybe there? Arrow? I guess right there. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go fire this pig up. And see what it do if, if we got blow by what we got. Um, a lot of things do not work on this. A lot of stuff does not work. <clears throat> so it needs a. I'm gonna try to find one of these. A little wing nut, which I might have, and then I gotta figure out where that goes. If it doesn't go anywhere, then I gotta plug it off, cause it has to go somewhere. Um, anyway, let's fire this beast up, see if it'll even fire up. It's going to be a long video, but it is what it is. So, so from what I saw last night, makes a lot of noise, seatbelt. Oh wow. Fire right up, oil pressure. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's, let's see what the... Oh, oh, boy, it looks like. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of blow-by. Definitely seen better days. So, I'm gonna change these fuel filters. <laughs> it's definitely spitting. Um, I'm gonna change these filters and see if we can't get her to run better. So, okay. Uh, anyway, this thing is, is really, really gutless. Like, flooring it from my end of the street, or from my house to the end of the street, is literally like 25 miles an hour. Let's see, this trunk open. <clears throat> Might be locked. So, anyway, this is our little Next little project. Gonna throw a turbo on it. I think a turbo and I don't know if that opened it or not. Oh, okay. Oh jeez. Well, we got jumper cables. Got a car mat. Got tire. Jack, original Jack, nice. Mm. So, anyway, I'll go ahead and. Oh, dang, is that the original radio? Sick. Made in Germany. Might, we might put this back in. That's cool. That is cool. Anyway, got some other miscellaneous knickknacks. Something that's broken. Screws. I don't know what that is. Some glad day. Anyway, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. I don't know what that is. Oh, 
the mirror. There's a mirror too. Sick. Nice. Anyway, let's see how these doors unlock. Oh. <laughs> I hope I got that on video. That's funny. I don't think I can open this door. Well, one after another. Let's see. Oh, she's. Get back here. Get this mirror. Oh. What else we got in there? Nothing. Oh. All right. Okay, guys. I don't know. I gave up. Seatbelt. Oh, yeah. I'm going to cruise this thing to work. You don't believe me? I'll show you a video of me driving this thing to work once I get it all good. Anyway, guys. I don't know what else works in this thing. I don't know if anything else works in this thing. We got some paper in here. Mirror doesn't stay. But, yeah. I just want to say thank you to my brother-in-law for being cool. And, uh... Yeah, I'll do some more videos on this thing, more little quirks, whatever I find. I don't know what I'm going to find on this thing. But right now I'm going to go get my drive shaft uh, support carrier bearing and some fuel filters for this thing. And, uh, yeah, and we'll go from there. So let me know what you guys think. Comment below. You guys as excited as I am. I don't know if I'm excited or not, but... I gotta fix a lot of stuff on it. But it does drive, it does run. So, anyway. Alright, guys, let me know what you guys think. See you guys on the next video. And, uh, yeah, be who you guys are. See you on the next one. Later. Went and cleaned and detailed the engine on the Audi and uh, drove it for about 40 miles. I think I went about 20 miles out, 20. It's about 22 miles out and 22 miles back. And uh, I couldn't find any leaks. Stuck the camera back down in there. And everything was good. The Mercedes. Uh, that thing's got so many vacuum issues. Um, basically vacuum controls these whole cars. Like they control the door locks. Uh, they control the trunk latch. The fuel door. It's weird. Vacuum controls everything. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I, it's got a big cluster of vacuum lines that come out of the <clears throat> firewall. And there's nothing connected. There's like two vacuum lines connected. So I ran like the transmissions vacuum actuated um, for its shift patterns to shift in, shift out. And I ran that one. Oh, man. That's a lot of... A lot of vacuum. It's got a whole vacuum reservoir under the back window, under the uh, the rear dash, whatever you want to call it. So underneath there, there's this big, huge reservoir. It's a big vacuum reservoir. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's fun. So I got all my vacuum line crap set out. I was messing with that all day yesterday. Not all day. Probably most of the day. Went for a drive. Still gutless. Um, I do have the fuel filter and oil filter on order. Oil filter's there. So I'm going to try to flush. And, and then when I get the filter, I'm going to add some chemistry to the fuel filter. But anyway. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you guys subscribe. Definitely comment. And uh, that's it. We'll see you guys on the next video. Got a lot of projects, obviously. Project Binsberry over there. That's its name. Binsberry. Alright guys, see you on the next video. Peace.